hapa mjambo wa fans wetu hapa bado ni Kaxero TV kama kawaida mimi naitwa Job unajua kuna Kisumu kuna Kakamega kuna Nairobi kuna Mombasa haya majina sisi tunayasikia tu lakini hatujui yanamaanisha aje leo hapa ndani ya Kaxero TV tunawaletea hiyo live na mtajua kila kitu so tukapa na mzee eh, tutaanza na Kisumu Hello. Uh, Apo Kisumu ilikuwa imeanza na vile vita ilikuwa tuliambiwa vita ya Wanandi na Waluya. Alafu Waluya waka, wakaenda walikuwa wanafanya biashara na watu wa Kisumu. Na wakati huo mwaka wa moja, tisaini na sufuri na moja, ilikuwa inaitwa Port Florence ilikuwa inaitwa Kisumu. So waluya walipokuwa wanaenda walienda kufanya biashara na na Wajaluo ndio jina wakasema hapo tunaenda kusuma. Kusuma kwa Kiluya ni kusema tunaenda kuchuma. Na kuchuma ni kama vile wanasemanga bata trading kwa kizungu. Ndio hiyo jina ikakuja Kisumu. Hata kwa Kijaluo Kisumu ni kusema kusuma Kisumu ndio hiyo jina ikatoka kwa Port Florence ikaingia Kisumu pale wanaenda kuchuma so eh, jina Kisumu ilianza wakati walikuwa wanafanya hiki kitu inaitwa Kisuma which is uh, in english it is called the butter trade so hii Kisuma ni kama products gani walikuwa wana exchange sana sasa hao watu wa huku walikuwa wanachukua kama vikapu wanachukua kama hizi nyungu za matope hizi pottery wanaenda huko nao wanapatiwa vitu kama samaki na kama samaki sana ndio walikuwa wanaenda alafu wanakuja wanauzi huko wanachukua zile vikapu za kubebea mahindi zile tunaita vile vile alafu wanakuja nazo sasa before kisumu itwe before jina kisumu ikoe uh, previously ilikuwa inaitwa aje because uh, una umetuambia hapo uh, there was a butter trade that was the activity which was going on uh, in kisumu which is currently kisumu we know so before it was named kisumu uh, how do the people who are there in that in those years how are they calling it by the time ama wakati huo hatujaambiwa walikuwa wanaitwa namna gani lakini walikuwa kwa ukweli ilikuwa inaitwa Nyanza kwa nini ilikuwa inaitwa Nyanza ilikuwa inaitwa Nyanza sababu ya Lake Victoria kwa kiluga Nyanza Nyanza ni lake so ilikuwa ina, wanasema tu tunaenda Nyanza hawako wanasema akukua na jina ndio mzungu akakuja akasema inaitwa Lake Victoria ni wakaja Lake Florence sorry ikaitwa Port Florence ilipokuwa Port Florence ndio wakakuja wakageuza ikakuwa Lake Victoria yani hiyo ziwa ya Nile pale Nile inatoa inatoa maji kimoja alafu sasa ndio hapo ndio waafrika wa nao wakati walianza biashara ndio nao wakaanza wakaita Kisumu uh, services kama gani walikuwa wana exchange juu umetuambia hapo uh, ushatuelezea kama vyakula goods eh? walikuwa na exchange hizi vitu kama potteries uh, wali, watu wa huko walikuwa wanapeleka huko alafu wanapewa samaki sasa tukiangalia services services kama gani walikuwa na wana exchange sasa kuna services tuseme kama watoto wangetoka kule wakienda kusomea huko upande wa Uganda Tanzania walikuwa wanapanda ile mashua hapo wanaenda nayo because wakati huo hata gari hazikuwa zinafika haraka hata mashua hazikuwa lakini mashua zilikuwa za kufanya transport kupeleka watoto kama wa Uganda ama kupeleka wapi alafu zile samaki zao wao watu wakivua samaki huko zilikuwa zinaendea zile inchi kama Sudan ama paka huko kule ziwa kule lake lake Nile inaenda na no, river Nile inafika so kumaanisha hiyo time pesa ikoa Uh, juu ilikuwa tu exchange of goods hivyo na services kitu kama pesa hii kwa sasa unaweza pata ukipanda gari ukipanda meli eh, 
unalipa tu ukiwa na mazao unazalipa mazao ukiwa na samaki unazalipa samaki ama walikuwa wanafanya aje hapa tukiangalia kwa means of transport wakati huo watu wao kwa natumia pesa sana ingawa pesa zilikuwa haba na zilikuwa ngumu sana zikuwa kama siku zile siku hizi mnapata tu pesa zile kupata pesa kidogo tu ilikuwa ya watu wale wanajiweza so watu wale wanajiweza ndio walikuwa natumia sana pesa na ukiuza hiyo samaki yako au hiyo vitu zako ndio upate pesa ingawa ndogo chini si kiwango kile unafikiri vile tumesikia eh, kisumu inamaanisha kisuma hiyo ni kwa kijaluo kisuma kwa Kiswahili ni kubadilisha eh, vyakula vitu kama hivyo bidhaa okay alafu kwa Kiingereza ni exchange of uh, goods and services or exchange of goods and goods you can have uh, you can have uh, uh, one gorogoro of maize you can if you take it there they give you one big tilapia so that is uh, all what mzee is uh, telling us so if you can uh, leave aside the kisumu we are going to look uh, at the meaning of kakamega i hope you have understood very well the meaning of kisumu so if uh, there is an uh, area you have not understand well of, or if you have a question you will uh, leave your comment uh, there's a comment section there you will comment there then uh, we'll give you the the proper answer you need so we, we are going to look at the meaning of kakamega now kakamega ilikuwa ikiitwa kwanza ishiyewe alafu ikakuja ikaitwa bukungu so there were sections kama hapo stadium ilikuwa inaitwa bukungu hapa karibu jivanzi hapa karibu na mulito gardens ilikuwa inaitwa shiyewe na hiyo shiyewe vile ikaendelewa ikaitwa kakamega kakamega ilionimaanisha wakati wanandi walikuwa wanapigana na wadui kutoka huko mlimani walikuja hapa Kristo walipokuja karibu na mama hii wakauua nao kuona pale walipoleta mzungu wanani wanandi walipouawa sana walilete mzungu mzungu alipopanda naye akakufia pale mkamba ikakatika ilipokatika ndio wanandi wakasema kaka me kaka me sasa kwa kinandi kaka me lakini sasa watu wakasema kaka mega of course mzungu akasema hivyo na wengine wanasema ati ni ati ni kumeka bushuma na kumeka na maana ya si hiyo hiyo tu ni 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 ni, 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 ni mambo tu ya hadithi ya watu lakini jina kaka me ndio ya kinandi so previously before kakamega became kakamega uh, this region uh, wanandi ndio walikuwa wana wanakaa wana hapa ilikuwa shamba zao ilikuwa tu shamba zao so wale walikuwa wanakaa wapi ama uh, walikuwa tu wanakaa hapa uh, wanandi both wanandi na walio okay so guys me i don't have a lot of questions about kakamega the meaning of kakamega if you have a question there you will uh, leave it down there at the come at the comment section we'll give you the feedback so my next question is that uh, uh, there are a lot of things you know there are other names which uh, we currently know but previously uh, they had another meaning or uh, they had they had another name so you can uh, just briefly tell us uh, some of the places or some of the things or uh, some of the products which uh, currently are having a new name different from the older name which they used to be called products ya ama bidha ya bidha bidha sasa zimeingia kwa kizungu kama ukiona vitu kama majani zimerekebishwa zikakuwa kitu kingine ukiona nyama zimewekwa madawa zimekuwa zingine sabuni zimekuwa zingine na hizi vitu kama sabuni hazikuwa zinatumiwa zamani walikuwa natumia vitu kama majani au miti fulani kwa kuogea miri na kufanya na kuoga mikono walikuwa naogea habu fulani ile inanuka vizuri kama wamekula 
Unaona kama vitu kama gasi vikuja na zamani walikuwa wanatumia kuni. Hawako wanatumia mambo ya gasi ama makaa. So vitu vingi vimebadilika kulingana na wazungu wakati walikuja umebadilisha Afrika yetu ikaonekana pingine tofauti. Sasa ni kama wazungu wame wamebadilisha vitu vingi siku hizi because uh, uh, tukiangalia vizuri many things uh, currently people, people have been copying the the culture of wazungu so according to your views how can you what can you say about that uh, sasa wakati huu ni vingumu sababu ni ugonjwa imeingilia imetuingilia na ugonjwa ikiingia kujitoa ni ngumu hii ya mzungu sasa sababu hata nguo zinatoka kwa vyakula vinatoka tumesahau kitamaduni zetu tumesahau vile tulikuwa tunaishi tumeiga watoto wetu wameiga kuruninga kuona zile vitu zinafanyika ngambo alafu wanachukua hiyo mfano sasa kuwarudisha kule nyuma ni jukumu kubwa sana ingawa ni kuendelea ni kuendelea tu nazo alafu lakini hao watoto wetu wajifunze tena utamaduni wa Kiafrika na vitu vile vya Kiafrika zetu. Okay tukimaliza uh, naona wewe ni mzee eh, what can you tell the younger generation? Hawa vijana wetu tunataka wafungue macho. Kitu ya kwanza wajue wasione Afrika kama ni chafu au ni giza ila waje hata na hiyo masomo yako waje kufafanua kile kitu wamesoma waanze, waanze kutengeneza Afrika vile iko ama Kenya vile iko waanze kutumia hiyo elimu yao kwa kutengeneza inchi yao hata wakienda kule ngambo wakija na ujuzi walete huku sio kwenda kule na kupotelea kule wakumbuke nyumbani kwani nyumbani ni nyumbani Okay thanks very much guys this is Kaxeru TV see you in the next video